What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars and Empress Wisdom. What's good, Scorpions? How you doing, loves? Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. Mwah. This is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. This could be involving a soulmate, twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, family member, friend, anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for the sign of Scorpio. Energies can be vital vice versa so getting where you fit in you will know who you are specifically in the story if you keeping it 100 all right um energies may or may not resonate for you if they do please do like share subscribe comment down below let your girl know if you would like to holla at me that information is in the description and if you would like to leave a love donation to show some love that information is down there too all right but let's go ahead and get into it for my Scorpios, let's go ahead and cleanse your space, cleanse my space, cleanse our space, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's see. All right, so overall for the next seven days, this is for January 20th through the 31st. Um, first of all, Scorpio, impatience is still a theme for you guys for the next seven days here. All right, so uh, make sure you are being patient, okay? I feel like you guys could be being uh, impatient still regarding a love, but let's see. Overall for Scorpio. All right, magnificence, okay? I'm, I'm hearing you deserve it, all right? You deserve it. You deserve it, all right? So I feel like y'all deserve it, okay? So whatever this is, know that you are magnificent. Know that you are enough, Scorpio. Um, this, there's something that you uh, are deserving at this time, and I feel like you need to know that you deserve it, all right? People are seeing you. You are magnificent, all right? Yeah, I feel like people could be celebrating you at this time, Scorpio. Um, it says you are amazing, magnificent, and unique, but most importantly, you are enough, all right? So I'm definitely getting um, the theme for you guys for the next seven days is uh, being impatient with yourself. Um, this could also be loving yourself, Scorpio. So I feel like some of you guys could be impatient and feeling like uh, love isn't coming to you fast enough, or you feel like um, a love isn't manifesting fast enough, or your dreams aren't manifesting fast enough, but... <laughs> You are you do deserve it, okay? So as long as you're putting in the work, Scorpio, you got this. Alright, so let's see overall um what type of energy you could be dealing with in the next seven days. And then let's get into it. Alright, so you could be dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Alright, this may uh may or may not be an Aries. Again, you know, take the sign if it resonates, if it don't. Um, it don't. But also I'm getting that some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that um, could have like a ego issue, all right? Or there could be some type of power struggle between you and this person. I'm also getting a Libra, all right? Someone could be from New Jersey. Uh, someone could be from New York here, uh, Mars and Pisces. Someone could have two children, okay? Or you could have two children with someone here. I'm also getting Sagittarius, a Piscean moon, all right, Italian, okay, um, also Scorpio moon, okay, so let's see, dealing with, uh, all right, let's see, one second, y'all. All right, before I get into this, I forgot I had some pre-channel messages for y'all, so this may or may not resonate. Um, so some of you guys, uh, a musician is making a clear decision. Someone is not returning to a negative or toxic situation. This person was uh, just a fling or a one-night stand or a play girl or a play guy, okay? Um, I'm hearing somebody saying good riddance, but I feel like whoever's saying good riddance is a hater. So this could be like somebody who is the problem that's like, oh, whatever, good riddance, all right? But they're the problem. Um, I'm also getting healing 444. So you could be seeing 444. Um, I'm definitely getting that there is an angelic presence surrounding you that is uh, aiding your healing at this time. 
Um, also, someone is choosing their empress, which is wish fulfillment. All right. So I'm definitely getting wish fulfillment in love, music. Um, this could be a music deal. All right. They, it could be a celebration, a party. OK, so I'm definitely getting a party again. So I'm definitely getting celebration for y'all, Scorpio. Um, celebration of achievements. I feel like some of you guys uh, have accomplished something here as a businesswoman or a businessman. Or this could be that someone that you are dealing with. All right. But again, like I said, the signs, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces, all right, Mars and Pisces specifically. All right, so dealing with this Aries here, I feel like this could be this businesswoman, business male. I feel like you could be talking to this person or wanting to talk to this person. I feel like somebody is being vindictive here. All right, so I feel like somebody may want to call somebody or contact somebody just to be vindictive. Um, I feel like somebody wants to um, have control over someone's mind or thoughts. Um, someone could be trying to uh, project uh, into someone's thoughts or, or something like that. Um, I feel like this is somebody who it could be a criminal here, somebody who's crooked. Um I'm also getting Lady of the Night, whatever that is. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be um, be on pause or you could have this person on pause because they're vindictive, all right, or vice versa. I'm also getting, like I said, this is somebody that you may have a power struggle between uh, the two of you. Yeah, I feel like somebody has some anger issues here. All right, so I feel like somebody um, could could have been heartbroken about this situation um, between you and them because the connection was toxic. Somebody definitely um, could be a little angry. Yeah, I feel like somebody's mad. Somebody went towards their twin flame. So I feel like this could be a hater. So this could be this person that's like, good riddance, whatever. You know, somebody could be acting like they ain't tripping that you gone, but they is, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I feel like somebody is not traveling back towards uh, this person. So you may not be traveling back towards this person or this person may not be traveling back towards you. Yeah, somebody is uh, manifesting um, a career here. I feel like this is a divine career, a divine path. Yeah, and I feel like things are happening fast in someone's uh, career here, all right? Um, after walking away from a situation, um, this could be also walking away from having anger issues towards your twin flame, if this resonates for you. Um, I feel like some of you guys could have been vindictive towards the twin flame, or they could have been vindictive and angry towards you, um, whatever. But I feel like um, there could definitely be a union between you and an Aries or a businessman or businesswoman. I feel like it could be after somebody has been focused on themselves, uh, after they have been focused on developing their business, they're focused on their own business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like this person may not want to lay something to rest with you. Um, somebody may see you as wish fulfillment, or you may see this person as wish fulfillment. But I feel like this could have uh, there could have been a bad romance between you and this person. All right, it could have been when somebody went to New York or something like that, or somebody could be from New York. Overall, yeah, I feel like there's definitely uh, somebody could definitely be envious of somebody's um, somebody booming in their career. I feel like there's double energy coming from this Aries or vice versa because something is happening fast in somebody's career. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be a hater here. So um, if you are dealing with an Aries or vice versa, I feel like somebody is a hater in that situation. And it may be best to say good riddance to that person um, because I feel like somebody can't handle someone's, um, you know, someone coming up. All right. So dealing with a Libra. All right. So I feel like there could be double energy between you and this Libra here. All right. Um, or someone could you could be sending a double energy towards this Libra. Yeah. To be vindictive. All right. So this could be a couple here. So this Aries and this Libra could be together. This businessman or woman um, and this Libra. I'm definitely getting somebody here uh, could wear glasses. All right. Or somebody likes to wear shades. Yeah, I feel like somebody's upset. Somebody could be, um, you know, doing spell work on somebody because someone is being brave and moving forward. Um, yeah, towards an ending. So I feel like somebody's mad about an ending. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody could be starting something over here. So someone is being brave and having a new beginning, um, developing something, uh, creating something here. So this could be a child. This could be, um, I'm hearing an album, EP, something like that. But I feel like somebody is being brave and going towards a new beginning creating something here all right one second all right so um i feel like yeah there is an ending here between you and a libra yeah and i feel like somebody could be gossiping talking shit about this all right so i'm definitely getting that this could be a, a couple two people could be talking shit about a couple here 
All right, dealing with Frank Sinatra. I feel like somebody here could be uh, have a Pisces moon warning. So I feel like there could be a warning dealing with the Piscean moon or dealing with the Sagittarian. Somebody here is fake. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody could have went to a shaman. All right, somebody could have went to, uh, yeah, I feel like somebody could, or someone sees you as a motivated shaman here. I feel like there is a warning between you and this person. This person could be a drunk. I feel like they could be trying to come at you in the next seven days here. All right, yeah, I feel like this person could be lusting after you. Let's see, definitely getting somebody from New Jersey or New York. All right. Yeah, but I do see a cycle ending between you and this person. It could be someone with Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Taurus, or um, Leo in their chart. Yeah, I feel like somebody definitely is being vindictive in this situ in a situation here. All right, this could be you, Scorpio, because it's, it's your energy, boo. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody could go both ways, okay? Or this could be a businessman that goes both ways. It's being vindictive, all right, because somebody made a clear decision. All right, I'm definitely getting somebody that may not be, uh, you know, out the closet. This could be somebody that hides their true nature, okay? All right, but I feel like somebody is definitely um, being vindictive about a situation in the next seven days. This could very well be you, um, Scorpio. Hopefully not. Let's see. Let's get into current energy and then the next seven days. Like I said, Scorpio, y'all need to know you are enough, boo. You ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta be vindictive. You ain't gotta be stinking people with your stinker, boo. Okay, it's gonna be all good. Um, so current energy here, let's see. Um, but if this is somebody doing this towards you, I feel like you just need to duck and dodge. Yeah, I feel like there could be some type of instability in a relationship. This could be with another uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> I feel like somebody doesn't want something to change here, but a relationship is unstable and unbalanced and it ain't good. Okay. Um, I feel like something is toxic. Yeah, your intuition is on point about this. All right, something is toxic. I feel like somebody is dishonest. This person is untrustworthy. I feel like this is a fake friend, fake companion, fake, you know, could be a family member. It's fake. Somebody fake and your intuition is on point about that. All right. Or someone's intuition is on point about you. Yeah, a loss of a fake friend. I feel like somebody definitely is deceptive here or was deceptive. And I feel like, yeah, somebody brings bad news, brings bad luck towards the situation. Um, this, the relationship is always unstable. And I feel like somebody needs to trust their intuition about going back towards the situation here. All right, let's see. In the next seven days. All right, I see uh, you could possibly be juggling here. Um, deal, you know, you could be dealing with family. You could be dating. Um, or this is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like somebody could be heartbroken. All right. So if uh, y'all single Scorpios, I feel like somebody is heartbroken because they see you um, juggling, going back and forth, you know, dating new people or whatever. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be upset about this. All right, let's see. Or someone could see you taking somebody out on dates or you getting taken out on dates and somebody could be upset about that. It could be somebody in your family in the next seven days. Let's see. All right, yeah, I feel like you are going to have to lay something to rest here. It could be with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an earth sign um, or a fire sign. Yeah, because somebody here is too immature, a Leo, Aries, or a Sag. I feel like, yeah, every time somebody gets upset, they cause some type of ruckus, cause some type of problem. Um, and I feel like some, the, a situation is going to have to get laid to rest in the next seven days because somebody is too fiery and immature and somebody needs to get their ass checked. Yeah, I feel like uh, someone is going to see here uh, that this person is too immature. This could be an air sign. So an air sign could be seeing that you're immature or you and uh, an air sign could be seeing that a fire sign is immature. Yeah, I feel like um, an air sign here, you and an air sign could be seeing that a fire sign, a Leo Aries Sag is very immature. This person is the one starting all this ruckus here. Um, this, uh, this could have to do with a pregnancy. So somebody could be vindictive because of a pregnancy. Um, somebody could be dreaming that somebody is pregnant, so they're being vindictive, immature, um, because a, a couple could be getting good results. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be a, a liar here, all right, and that's what's causing some type of confusion. All right, yeah, this could definitely have to do with the Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius. Um, somebody is healed, and I feel like somebody has healed and found love, found a, a great marriage partner. All right, I feel like a man has found a, a good wife, and that is a good thing, all right? Um, I feel like this person heals, uh, this person's partner heals them. All right, yeah, they have a solid relationship, or you have a solid relationship, and I feel like somebody is heartbroken about that, somebody upset. 
Oh, fucking well. All right. But anyway, Scorpio, know that you are enough, my love. All right. Till next time. Later.